Hey, it's Charles from Private Box. This is a video on how to forward an item from New Zealand overseas using Private Box. Uh, say you've seen some shoes or an electronics good or something that you really want and it's only available in New Zealand, then this is how you can use Private Box to ship that item to yourself uh, overseas. And in this case, I've used the example of someone being overseas in Australia. Uh, so it's a long form video. Um, it includes everything from signing up to Private Box, all the steps that you need to take, buying the item, getting the item at Private Box, and sending it to yourself in Australia. Uh, forgive me for saying um a lot, it's my first uh, video like this, um, but anyway I'll put some um, time markers in there. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to go through the whole process from where to go and that includes setting up your private box account, doing the ID verification and how to get your address, then using that address to purchase an item and then how to arrange the forwarding and what are the options there and then finally if you're not going to use the private box account how to close it down again so if you've found private box then you would have come to the website and all of our plans get a 30-day trial for a dollar so you pay one dollar and you can try it out for 30 days and that is on the monthly fee it doesn't include the shipping costs so you're not going to get shipping for one dollar but you won't have to pay for that monthly fee for using the address uh, so i'm going to go ahead and sign up for a personal account now the first option that you get is to choose your address in new zealand the best address for receiving parcels is our johnsonville address so that's where our head office is in new zealand and so when a courier brings in a box we can sign for it and they drop it off here and you get notified as soon as possible. Cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and start signing up. I'm gonna sign up with uh, an Australian details. So I just pretend I'm in Australia. And come up with a secure password. Then I'm going to read the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. Click that I agree and hit next. Here is a description just confirming when the $1 30 day trial expires. All right. So the next page is the payment page. So we just take the $1 payment to check that you have a credit card, a working credit card. Cool, so I've got my credit card here. I'll pop that number in. And expiry. And CBV on the back and my name. And once that's done, um, I'll just hit the next button. Cool, so that's taken us to the evidence of identity page. And so this is where uh, we need to get some ID. And it's really just to prove you are who you say you are. Um, so I'm going to um, just say the country I was born. And then I've got my driver's license, which I'll add. And um, then I want to just explain what I'm going to, who's going to own the private box account. Um, so because I'm just buying a uh, some, some shoes, for example, then it's just me 
um, that's using this account. Uh, and then I'll just say that in here. So buy some shoes and hit next. Cool. And so the the next step is just to share a video of myself saying, hi, I'm Charles, oops, typo there, and I want to create a private box account. Now there are three options. You can either make a video with your own device and then upload it here. So say if you want to do that with your phone or something, um, you can record a video and I don't think it's going to let me doing that do that because I'm already recording a video. <laughs> um, or you can book a call. Um, and so that's booking a call with um, our team here in New Zealand. And um, if you pick a time, then it you can pop in your details and that'll set up a um, Google Hangouts meeting to do that. Um, it'll automatically populate the time zone that your browser is in. Um, so you'll be able to see exactly when uh, the time slots are available for you. So I've got a, a video that I've done earlier, so I'm just going to upload that really quick. And then I'm going to hit create account. OK, and so that had a quick pop up, which I couldn't quite grab, which said success. And then it's taken me to the uh, login page. And before I log in, uh, I will just show you um, I've got an email here as well. And that's to verify the email address. Um, so I'll click on that. And then I'll put in my secure password and log in. OK, so once you've logged in, um, you'll come to your inbox. And this will show that you've got that $1 credit there. And this is where you'll see your address. And as you can see, the unique suite number for this particular account is um, currently withheld, withheld um, while the, the team just verifies the identity of those documents and that video that were provided. If they need any f more information, then they will email you and ask for that. Um, if they don't, then you'll get an email um, just saying, you know, that's all the information that they need. And um, then your suite number will be revealed. Um, so we'll just wait for a couple of seconds. And with the magic of video editing, um, that should come through in a moment. So let's wait for that. OK, and we're back. And as we can see over here in the emails, I've got an email to say, hi, uh, your identity has been accepted, blah, blah, blah. So let's refresh this page. And there we go. I've got the full address available to me now. So I'm going to copy that and just pop it in a handy place and go and do some shopping. Um, so let's just go and grab some tech thing, for example. Um, I don't know what something small. Maybe just a, like a, a video card. I don't know what you you want to buy, but um, let's buy this. Proceed. OK. Um, so it's going to be in Wellington. Oh, doesn't really matter. Let's just go. Um, order is a new one. Yeah, we want delivery. Cool. Um, so in here, I just put in the normal um, overseas phone number. Um, so I'm putting in an Australian phone number in there. 
um, cool. And then so over here is where I would put the um, feed number. So let me show you how to do the address real quick. So building name, I'm, I'm going to put this suite number and then put that Johnson one and it'll come up automatically. See there, you, this particular store is using the New Zealand Post um, thingy, uh, address finder. So it comes up straight away. So you just want to click that. Um, but you want to make sure somewhere in your address you've got your suite number because that's how your item gets into your private box account. Without that number, um, it can really slow down um, getting it into your account. Um, cool. So there we go. Next step, blah, blah, blah. Standard delivery. De -de -de. Um, and then, of course, you can choose how to pay, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think if we just go back to that billing page. So this is the main thing, right, is you want to have your um, delivery information as it appears in your suite there. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish purchasing that. And then um, with the brilliance of video editing, we'll see what happens next. OK, so I've made my order with um, PB Tech, and I'm waiting for my item to be delivered. And um, so I just wanted to go over a couple of things. Um, again, you'll get a, a welcome message from Private Box, and that includes um, your full address there and some more information about how to use the address. Um, you know, if you um, might come into some extra fees and, and stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, this is uh, the invoice for the thing that I just purchased. And um, I just want to go over really quickly uh, one option for forwarding your item to yourself. Now, most people will wait uh, until an item comes into their mail, and then Private Box will email them to let them know their item has arrived. But if you don't want to have to come back to the private box account and log in and sort it all out, you can set up an automatic rule um, to uh, forward that item as soon as it arrives um, straight away. So I'll show you really quickly how to do that if um, that's how you want to set it up. And it's in here. OK, I'll, I'll do this a little bit slower. So click on your name in the top right hand corner, and then you want to choose um, any of these uh, folders, people, or mailbox. And then that'll take you to this screen here. And then you want to click on the last one, which is rules. And then scroll right down to the bottom, and you've got mail forwarding rules. Um, and so what you can do is select a, a frequency. Um, we've just got one mail folder, which is the catch-all folder. So we'll choose that. And then we want to automatically forward. And if I move myself out of the way, um, we've got a couple of options here. Um, so you've got Air Post, which is the slowest, um, EMS, Courier, which is kind of middle ground, and International Express Courier, which is the fastest and most expensive. Usually that's a, um, a DHL or a FedEx kind of level. Um, so uh, I'm going to go for EMS in here. Um, generally, we find that the International Express Courier is uh, almost double the price of the EMS, um, and maybe you'll get a day faster or something like that. So best bang for buck is kind of that middle one. You get insurance and you get tracking. 
Um, so I'm going to put in my Australian uh, address in here. I spell my name right. And it's going to Australia. Cool. Um, and then I'm just going to hit add rule. Cool. So that means every day that mail comes into the private box. So it won't do it if there's no mail in there. Um, then uh, whatever comes in will be sent to me uh, in Australia. And so then I can just log in and set and forget. And um, mail will, uh, whenever mail is processed, it will just be charged to um, my credit card. And, and that's that. Um, so I'll just log out for now. And with the magic of uh, video editing, uh, we can now track my parcel. And you'll see uh, that it's been delivered. So that's fantastic. Um, so this is just the um, courier service in New Zealand tracking to the delivery to the private box. Um, so let's say that we didn't want it um, to automatically uh, fire off, um, but we just wanted to receive that item in the private box account first and um, then see and then choose our, our ma mailing from there. Um, so I'll take you through that process now. Okay, um, so we saw with the tracking here that it's arrived. Um, it can sometimes take time for uh, stuff to be processed at private box. Um, so that means, you know, you might get the notification that the, the courier has dropped it off. It doesn't get added immediately. Um, it does get added same day most times. Um, so let's just log in and um, see what's happening in the uh, box account. Um, cool. Okay. That's great. So we can see um, the item has arrived there. So that's a parcel um, for 1.2 kgs. Um, in reality, it would probably be a, a little bit more than that. Um, there is a charge for receiving parcels, uh, which is a dollar. So the uh, amount on the account has dropped down by a dollar. Now, there's a couple of things to notice here. You will get an email notification uh, when mail arrives. Um, I'm probably just logged in. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, too quickly. So here it is. This is what you would usually see. So mail has just arrived, blah, blah, blah. And if you've got an automatic rule, it will say what's going to happen. Um, so this will be dispatched uh, by using EMS tomorrow. So it's next business day, it's going to be dispatched. Um, if you're really hankering to get that, um, then you can just do it straight away, right? Um, so since we're in here, uh, I'll show you really quick how to schedule that. Ah, so I just need to top up. Okay, so hit submit, and then um, that'll top up your account. Um, so Okay, so I've just topped up and I'm gonna turn off the automatic rule re really quickly so I can show you just how to um, get, do it manually. Um, okay, so going back to the inbox. Okay, so I'm going to choose the item and then click on the send. Um, 
yeah, I'm just going to put in that same address that we had before. And again, we get to choose those uh, services. So I'm going to choose EMS for this one. Um, it'll give a rough estimate, um, but I see that it's really rough. OK, so um, you can see here it's 50.14 to 50.79. Um, so uh, yeah. If you want a, a really good quote, then I would recommend just getting in touch with our support staff. Right, so this tick box here allows you to add um, more mail if it arrives after you've set up this request to forward mail. Um, if you're just using private box for one item, then it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just gonna hit confirm. And then that will be queued for processing, um, and our mail operator will um, process the queue. So to give you an idea, um, Monday to Friday, our, our mail room um, processes incoming mail in the morning and then processes outgoing mail in the afternoon. Um, so if you're um, getting these requests, these queue requests in in the morning um, then our team will process that same uh, day in the afternoon new zealand time um, but you just need to be aware of you know there is that time zone so if you're really um, chomping at the bit to get your device or shoes or whatever it is um, yeah just be a little bit patient um, sometimes the the time zones don't cross over uh, really smoothly, um, so there can be an extra business day or something in there um, for that processing. Um, so as you can see here, it's queued to be sent. Um, and so what we'll do now is we'll just sit on that and our mailroom staff will send that off. And I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. So you can see here um, that that piece of mail has been sent now. Um, and it's been sent uh, to the address. It's got some details here and the total cost. So the total cost was a little bit more um, than expected. And we can see down here, there is the tracking number as well. Um, so once it's in transit, um, then that tracking number will start working. Currently it's not, it hasn't actually left our office. so. Let's just log in real quick and I'll show you what it looks like once it's left. Okay, so you can see that that's gone. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use Private Box. Um, obviously, you've got that tracking link um, to keep tabs on your um, parcel as it comes to you wherever you may be in the world. Um, we've used Australia in this example, but you know, it can be um, anywhere else. Um, private Box supports, I think it's over 230 uh, countries and territories around the world. So, um, yeah, that's how that works. Um, say you received your parcel and you want to wrap up um, using Private Box, you're not planning on, on using it again, um, you can just go close it. Um, using uh, in your private box account. Um, so if you just jump into billing and then over to cancel account. Um, and then this is all you need to do. So just, I don't need it. And pop in your password. And, and that's it. Um, and as long as you do that before the um, trial runs out, then you don't get pinged for a, um, you know, that monthly subscription fee. 
um, I would recommend holding on to the account um, while you're waiting for your item to arrive um, so that we can help you uh, more easily. Um, but once it's arrived, then yeah, that's the easy way to turn it off. Uh, one last thing is um, just a confirmation email as well. Um, so once you've closed your account, um, you do get a, a confirmation that that's happened. So yeah, that's it. If you've got any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments. Um, otherwise, this was a, a long form video on how to use Private Box to get a item from New Zealand. Okay, cheers.